SEO is important to websites because it determines what websites and what particular pages of those websites rank in the search results as people are looking for information and services online. One of the key elements of SEO is what's called domain authority. Google assigns a zero to 100 numerical rating to every website. We do not know exactly what Google is assigning, but we can arrive and, and use tools to get uh, a clear sense of how strong a website is. And the domain authority affects how a website would rank against uh, another website with the exact same content um, for the same keywords. So, for example, this website here has a domain authority of 32, which means this is a strong local business type of website. Many new businesses, new or small blogs, would have a domain authority of 0 to 10, uh, a growing but still young company or blog would have a domain of 10 to 20 and uh, 20 and 30s are mean that a, a company has done SEO work and, and is fairly strong and growing. Major publications, universities, larger corporate entities would be in the 40s, 50s, 60s. And then, of course, the titans of online would be in the 80s, 90s. Uh, Etc. So all the Googles, Amazons, Apples of the world are, of course, 99 or 100. So we can see which companies compete with your company online, who ranks for a number of common keywords, who's essentially competing and appearing in similar search results with you. And sometimes that's surprising and other times it's completely expected and then we can actually research and gain information about those competitors websites and and learn about their strategies something really fun and exciting is to look at the referring domains to your website these are other websites that are sending at least that have at least one backlink pointing to your website this is a major seo factor and the more referring domains the stronger your website will be, the higher your website's domain authority will be, and the, the higher your website will rank in the search engine. And so you can see this particular website has a backlink from YouTube, The Star, Sony.com, Pop Sugar, Media Room, Broadway World. These are all high domain authority websites. So the stronger the domain authority of the website that links to you and your website the better you can see i can even uh, i can even get a sense of what individual backlinks are pointing to uh, this particular website that i'm looking at and it's oh, let's find the backlink here so this is the the channel and we probably find the we might be able to find the backlink uh, usually it'd be in the description for Yahoo so oh that channel itself so that the description of the channel there we go should have a, there's the website link right there so take a look there that's the website link on that particular page so really cool stuff it's fun to check out links and you, we can find out what when links are gained or lost or uh, so really cool information another important element of SEO is what we call on page SEO we can look at the tools and the tactics that are used inside the, the website itself, the metadata, the descriptions, the alt tags, essentially the information that is contained on your website can be edited and enhanced to optimize and improve 
the SEO or the ranking potential of your website. We can see, we can give particular posts and pages names and titles and use keywords. And we can look at how well, we can use tools to look at how well written a blog post or a page is and how likely it is to rank for a given keyword. So really cool stuff. Then we can actually do search rankings and see where website ranks for particular keywords. Green being a number one position here, or the, the, the brighter green than the more dull green is a two to five rank for, uh, and we can check various keyword topics or keyword phrases that people are known to type in. And then we can see how well this particular company's website ranks in the Google map and the Google organic listings and Bing and being local. So if I click here, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see a web search and I'm gonna see the company that I work with right there. So uh, you can tell that there is a lot of cool information and in analytics. We can also look at uh, and keep track of online reviews. We can get metrics about uh, social media performance. So one key element of SEO is the keyword itself in what we call keyword research. We can look up and gain information about the keywords that relate to your business, your service set, your company's uh, products and services. And we can find out what keywords are more competitive or less competitive than others. Here, the green are less competitive. The yellow, orange there is, is slightly more competitive. And then the, the unhighlighted elements are, are a higher level of, of competitiveness. So this is uh, on a one to two. Yeah. 100 scale. So for example, that keyword here has a, a competitiveness of 50, which, which means it's fairly competitive. So a website needs to have a fairly strong domain authority backbone in order to rank for that keyword. And we can see the number of average searches for uh, a given keyword. And you can see a lot of these keywords are very, very niche, very obscure with a small number of monthly, average monthly searches. Uh, it's it's um it's it's good to get that data. I mean, we can find the most important keywords and see. Look at these uh, much higher volumes here. These are generic or one broad single word keywords, and so we can we can decide what to uh, what content to make and what strategy to pursue. Uh, according to the keyword research and the the skills and, and services and products and uh, content assets of the particular website. So this is an SEO overview. Just remember how important this will be uh, in just a few short years when, you know, almost all commerce and all information gathering happens online. It'd be so important to position your website and your company's online presence well uh, for uh, for the flow of commerce so thanks so much god bless